Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Boss Labs. My name is Chuy Gutierrez, and today we are here in Premiere, and I want to talk about something that's kind of simple, but I think somewhat overlooked, and it's a feature that this program does that I guess it's not something you enable, it's just something that's always present, which is making edits on your timeline as the timeline is playing back. So let me kind of just show you what I mean. So you could do things where you, for example, are playing something and you want to make an adjustment, right? Or you want to change your clip length. So you could change it. You can extend this clip here like I did there. You can undo it um, and you can see that it's still just playing back. Like for example, this is clips going to play here, but I can undo it and it's still playing. So it's not going to play it. I can reverse that and then it's going to pop up again. So you can make edits like this with audio as well. You can increase your volume while it's playing. You can say, hey, I want this audio to ramp up here and it's going to get really loud as it's playing back. You can undo any of these things. You can also make changes to things like color grading if that's something you want to adjust on the fly. Maybe you see that the color is or the shot is a little bright. So as it's playing back, you can go to your panel and like darken it make it brighter and you can see it in real time. You can also do this with like scaling effects. For example, I have a clip of me talking here, select it and I go over here to my effects control. I can scale it, I can move the shot down, I can move it up, all that stuff. I can undo everything I just did and it's still playing back. It's pretty major. You can make adjustments to clips. For example, if I don't wanna see my logo from there, it's gone, right? And it's gonna pop back up when I see it come through the timeline. and this is something I do when I'm extending graphics or just sometimes I realize that there's a clip that I may want to move to another spot. So sometimes I'm like, hey, so I see this. I'm like, you know, actually, I think this clip will do better over here. So I'll move it as the playhead's moving. And then in real time, I don't lose any time before I see that clip pop up again. And I think this is a really cool kind of way of working, especially when you're just fine tuning things, maybe extending a graphic, maybe you're just realizing that a shot needs to be moved over to the beginning of another clip and you have your snap feature on. And I think this could really kind of help you be more efficient. It definitely helps me out, especially when I'm kind of doing my last pass on things or even my first pass. I find myself using this passively a lot. I find myself just constantly making adjustments as the playhead's moving and not even realizing that I'm stopping because if you're saying, hey, I want to move this clip from this side to another side and you've made the decision, but then you pause, move over, play, and then rewatch it. I mean, you're kind of shaving off seconds if you don't want to click to it. You can see it in real time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I think that's a really cool feature that we really don't talk about that much. You can make adjustments to your audio, like I said, any graphics, any clip, you can remove stuff, color, you know, effects controls, adjusting the effects live, essentially. Um, sometimes this does make your computer slow down a little bit, but in my experience, for the most part, little changes like the ones I just showed you don't um, like hinder the performance too bad. So I hope this helps if you're editing in Premiere and you want to kind of just shave off a few seconds over the course of an edit, over the course of a day. I think this is a really cool feature that they have that really not a lot of us talk about. So yeah, if you have any comments or questions, please leave that down in the comment section below. And like always, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more content like this and like, yeah, let's have a talk. Let's chat in the comment section below if you'd like to, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.